What's up everybody, MJ Acosta here, and um, this is weird, because as you guys know, I talk sports, I'm not a blogger or an influencer or any like that, but half the time when people aren't asking me about football, they're asking me about Angela, of course, my phone. So I figured, why not blend the two worlds and give you guys my all-star MVP roster curly products. So, quick backstory, of course, even though I was born, with a gorgeous head of curly hair, I spent most of my life chemically straightening it, flat ironing it every day, and hiding all of this bountiful beauty of curls to sort of fit into whatever cultural lies we tell ourselves, self-imposed kind of standards of beauty and industry rules, right? That working in television um, that I felt for so long I had to do until two years ago. And I said, oh my God, I'm gonna be bald if I don't get this together. And I was over it, I was done. So I went over to a fabulous curly hair guru stylist um, from the Days studio, Miss Daisy, who transformed my hair, chopped so much of the damage off and um, helped me start on this journey. So let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's get to this uh, roster here. My top of the list, MVP, the QB, the Patrick Mahomes, if you will, uh, of my list is not a product at all, actually. It's water, H2O, moisture. That's what your curls need. You don't want them to look dry. You want them to absorb the product um, and for everything to just stay as moisturized as possible. Water is the key to all of it. So make sure your hair is soaking wet, fresh out the shower preferably, before you apply any of your products. Step two, you gotta keep your quarterback protected, right? So I'm talking about the offensive line of my product arsenal. That's gonna be my leave-in conditioner. So again, soaking wet. You don't wanna add too much because you don't wanna wear your hair down, but you wanna lock in that moisture. You wanna keep it nice and soft. You want a little bit of slip. So leave-in conditioner is very, very important. Keep it moving through the roster. My running back, the Philip Lindsay. He's carrying the load. He's putting in that groundwork. That's, for me, my curl cream. So make sure that, again, your hair is still soaking wet. If you see any spots that are starting to get dry or aren't um, saturated enough, just add more water. Just keep a water bottle with you the entire time. Work in sections. So section off your hair and then the way I do it is I rake it through, so literally using my fingers as a comb, and then pray to the higher powers that these results come out perfect and my curls behave, but literally you are using what the curly community calls the prayer hands technique. So just put your hair in between your hands like the brain, and then slide on down. This is gonna smooth it through um, and, and just make it kind of clump together and look really good once it dries. So rake it in and then smooth it out. If you're a football fan already, heard this before, defense wins championships. So let's win the championship of your curly hair wash day. For me, the strong safety here of my crew, the Troy Palomalu, is going to be my gel. Ooh, you need this. Keeps frizz and anything else that wants to go astray in check. So the gel for me gives me that little bit of extra hold um, that I need to make these results last as long as possible. Um, I add it after I'm completely done with my entire head after applying the curl cream. Just put a couple of um, dollops in there of gel and I kind of break it in and smooth it through my hair, scrunching in areas if I need to, not applying too much because I don't want it to be too crunchy like I used to do back in middle school, that's a story for another day, but definitely want it to have a little bit of extra hold and that's gonna make it last for several days throughout the week. Now if you're thinking, MJ, this is a lot of stuff you just put in your hair. Yes, you're right. So at this point in the process, there should be a, a thick layer of product in your hair. You'll see it, you'll see the coating on your hair. Don't worry, don't freak out. Use a microfiber towel and scrunch out all of that excess. You gotta stay strong in all three phases, right? So let's talk about some specialists. Uh, for me, these are my hairspray and my oil finishing spray. Yes, hairspray, I need a little hold. I'm in. 10 different climates in any given week. I'm outside, it can be raining, it can be foggy, it can be humid. On game days, you're running around a stadium, 
So for me, I need that little extra layer of protection. I use the Diva Curl Flexible Hold Spray, which of course is alcohol free um, and it's cleared obviously to use on curly hair. And it really does provide extra hold without it being um, kind of crunchy or even leaving an extra layer of film on my hair, which I would hate. Uh, so just a little, little bit on top, flip my hair over, make sure I get all of the curls in every angle. Um, and I'm good to go. And of course, you can't just have any old players on your roster, right? You need quality players, top draft picks. So when it comes to curly products, that means no silicone, no sulfates in any of your products. I know some people are adverse to this. I think it's a, it's a bit of a stretch, depends what kind of silicone. That's what has shown me results over the past two years. I cut all of that out from the products that I use. Um, I am pretty loyal to Diva Curl, and full disclosure, I am an affiliate with them now just because I kept tagging them and stuff. Um, so they have sent me a ton of products that I've been able to use to show you guys this, but I assure you, these are products that I have bought on my own and paid full price, full dollar for as well because I recommend them that much. I would not steer you wrong, I promise. So obviously there's a lot of layers to this, so one of the biggest tips that I'll give you guys is one, try to avoid heat styling. I do use a diffuser to finish off um, drying my hair, even though I let it air dry for most of the day. It does take hours to air dry, so I'll use the diffuser just at the end on low and in cool, so I'm not using heat in that aspect either. No heat styling has been huge. This is why my curls have grown so much over the past two years, especially over the last year. One of my biggest goals when I started transitioning back to my natural hair was just to have healthy hair, right? Hair that wasn't falling out, that it wasn't breaking every time I brushed it. And I found so much more through all of this. I found not only a community of other women and men who are embracing their natural textures, their natural beauty, uh, and the things that make us so unique out in this world, we don't all have to look the same, even those of us who work in television, right? It's okay to see yourself reflected. And I have so many moms and dads approach me at stadiums, at events, while I'm out at work, while I'm out in the grocery store, and just, you know, they, they tell me that their daughters, their nieces, their friends look up at the TV and say, you know, she looks like me, she has hair like me. and. That's something that I didn't really have growing up for, except for a few exceptions. And I, I think more of us need to do it. So if you're hesitating, just start now. This was two years, two years, of a person who is not very patient when it comes to hair growth and hair stuff. I wanted to see it now. My hair was right here at my ears this time last season. Look how much it's grown. For those of you wondering just how long it is, you don't have to straighten it. Pull it down pretty long shrinkage is a thing but just do it like if you start right now this time next year boom you're gonna be having your own tutorial talking about look at my hair growth just do it take care of yourself take care of your hair feel great from the inside out I'm still working on it y'all I'm a work in progress but at least Angela she's out here thriving